This is Young Trader, and this is Midday Trading. Today, we're going to take a look here at Bitcoin, BTC. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy, sell any stock, buy the ETF. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, here we have Bitcoin, your daily chart. Now, I'm going to show you a daily chart, a weekly chart, and then I'm going to put the daily above the weekly so you can get a good glimpse of both of them there together. Okay, let's just do a quick review here. Now, uh, we want to watch this key 200 SMA here. See how nice this is? Now, all this, look at it. This is going on for months, but it's just held it, okay, all the way through. And then once you broke out of top of this candle at 30,365, uh, look how nice for this. Keep on just stair-stepping all the way and up. And look at all these nice SMAs here rolling right on up. Now, what we had here when you had to sell off, this was basically when they issued all those ETFs. <clears throat> and then uh, uh, right after that, this kind of sold right on off here. But now it's getting back to juice and it's going right on up. So let me just big this up a little bit here. <clears throat> okay. So now when we look at your SMAs here, look at your eight SMA. See, you're nicely going right above. You're above your 50-day and your 21-day. Uh, very, very nice. Looking like your 21-day uh, is curling up here. Your 50-day, it just has a really nice... Uh, um, uh, trend on the upside here. So this is looking really, really good. Okay, now the key to it is what we had is yesterday we had a high of 5730 uh, and then today we basically had a, a, a sell off here, but we have an inside day candle, which basically means your highs and low is, is in between the, uh, the, follow, uh, the previous day's candle here. So what this really needs to hold on a closing basis is this candle right here. Always look to the left of your chart because where it's been is basically where it's going to go. So now uh, this becomes a uh, key support. So you want to look at 49,435. That is going to be very, very critical on a closing basis. Okay. If that's lost, we can come down here to the next candle, which is basically um, uh, 45,270. And then we can follow these candles down. So we look to the bottom of what this candle is here of yesterday's. You're looking at uh, 47,950, uh, uh, okay? And then we just, you you can work yourself down here with the candles. You have 40,075. We have um, uh, 46,685. And then your big support level here is going to be this 8 SMA at 45,809, <clears throat> okay? Very, very key. And then obviously right below it here, what we can do is we can take the bottom of that candle. You're looking at... 45, 535. We look to the bottom of this here. We're looking at 44, 410. And then we'll come right into the key uh, support areas, which is 43, uh, 534. And then right below it is you have your 21 day at 43, 3, uh, uh, 43. Okay. So, but you got a really nice, good support here with your 8, your 50, and your uh, 21 SMA. Now, again, <clears throat> if that's lost, we can just come here to these. All these candles here, which is holding very nicely, look at about 42.10 coming right across. And obviously, if that's lost, we can just follow the like the top of this candle, uh, a 45.40. Um, we have uh, a 43.15. We look to the bottom here. You're looking at uh, 400, uh, a 40, uh, a 70, and then we can just follow the candles down. You're looking at 39.5, a 45, 39.450, and then your big retest down here is 38,540. I always like to show you where it's possible if you start losing all these key uh, support levels here. But right now, <clears throat> this looks very, very good. So any kind of a sell-off here, you're looking for that 8 SMA um, to hold at 45,809. And then below it here, we have your 50 SMA here, and then your 21 day. So you got some good support levels here, but the key here is going to be on a closing basis is this 49,435. Okay, so so you don't want to see where, if it starts selling off here, that you have like a double top uh, situation. <clears throat> here, now on your RSI here, well, you hit the 70 mark here. It's just pulling down. Got to see if it's going to actually going to fall all the way down or, you know, uh, if it's just going to, you know, rally up here like what it had here, came up, sold down, and then just sideways kind of an action. So with that, got to see how that's all going to play out. Now your MACD here looking really good. Your green above your red shows you good. Good uh, bullish positive momentum going on here. So we just got to see how it all shakes out. But realistically, the market right now, the Dow's down about 520. 
Um, the uh, NASDAQ is down uh, 267, all basically on that CPI inflation number. So if you watch my video this morning, uh, I told you to just keep your eye on. you got to stay sharp. So the, the CPI and then the, uh, the PPI is going to be out here on the 16th. you got to be very, very uh, uh, sharp here because everything's going to be based on what that Fed's going to do it for market sell. So it affects pretty much everything. But so far today, we have an inside day. we got to see how it shakes out. So let's take a look here on a weekly. All right, here we have a weekly chart all stretched out. Now you can see here where you you basically you ran up really nice all the way on top of this candle here. So you're looking at uh, 65, 520. Now that's going to become resistance, okay? And then right above it, we have 69, uh, 355. But the key is on this chart, the same way it was on a daily, is you want to watch that price channel. See that? 49,435. Very, very key on a closing basis there for the week. Now, again, if you can get above that, then what we do is we just go to the left. This is why you want to put price channels in. See where it has the little notches all the way and down? Well, then on the upside, that is going to be your resistance level. So we just bring that right across. And what do we see here? The next level is going to be 48,475. Uh, uh, Okay, then we'll come up to this price channel, which is basically this candle. So then you're looking at 52,200. And then we'll come up to this channel, which is basically this candle, 59,680. Uh, and then what we want to do is we want to look to the next level here is we want to look to the left, the top of this candle. Okay, because see, this was the breakout candle. As it rolled, went up, came on all the way down, and then shot up. It broke out above that candle, so now that becomes resistance. So you want to look at 65, 520, and then obviously you retest up there at 69, 355. So if you can break out of that key level at that uh, 49, 435, okay, then we just follow the price channels. That way we pretty much know exactly where it's going to go. Now, when you look at this chart, it ran all the way up here. See, this is why I say always put that eight estimate. See how nice that is? Okay, it follows right up. But once that is lost, then she comes down. But if you look at this 50 SMA here, so you can see how nice it held it, ran up, held it again, all the way on up. And then it was trying to work it here, but once that 8 SMA came below it, then she just, boom, all the way on down. So these SMAs here are just absolutely priceless. Like that's an 8 SMA, a 21-day, a 50-day, a 100-day, and then your 200-day right there. Put those on your charts, and I you'll be surprised how well they work, along with these price channels. See how clear you can see everything, okay? So now we look at this RSI here. Well, we've got to see right now you got a, uh, uh, a negative divergence. However, you know, we got it hasn't played out yet. So we got to see how this is all going to shake out here, if this rolls over or, or however it's going to be. Now you look at your MACD. Well, again, your green is above your red. That tells me that's bullish. They've got good momentum going here. So basically here, Bitcoin looks very, very uh, uh, bullish. Now let me just big this up a little bit. Okay, see what I also like about this? See how your eight day on the way up. See your 21 day, see your 50 day, 200 day. See, everything is going to the upside. That's always very, very bullish. Now, again, if this all if this all sells off, you just watch these candles here. Very makes it very simple, 47.95. And then that was your breakout candle, uh, 45.260. And then this eight day is going to be very, very key at 44, uh, 321. If that's lost, just follow the bottom of the candles, okay? So you got uh, 42, 340. Um, you have 42, uh, 40. And then we have here 40, uh, 300. And then we'll come down to this candle. You're looking at 38, 540. Your key support is going to be here at that 38, 976, okay? Again, if that eight day lost, uh, is lost here on a closing basis, then we come down to your 21 day, and then you can come down to your 5,800. But remember, this is a weekly chart here, so it's good that you have a whole week to develop. All right, I'm going to put the uh, uh, the daily and the weekly uh, uh, on top of each other. It gives you a little bit better view. Okay, here we have your daily and your weekly. See how nice this is? How this you can you can see everything so very very clear. So you say, well, okay, hey, it broke out above this candle uh, right there at that that's at 49,435. Oh, it broke out above. Well, then exactly, see, there's your price channel, 49,435. So you know, say, okay, well, then I can just follow up these, you know, uh, up the price channels until we get to this candle, which is at uh, 65,520, and then your big retest. So it's really easy to clear to see if you put one on top of the other. You get rid of all the other uh, stuff um, <clears throat> as far as your MACD, RSI, and your volume, 
and you can just see this very, very clearly uh, exactly what's going on here. Okay, so basically here, this daily chart looks in, looking very, very bullish here on the way up. Uh, you can see that, and look how nice it held that key 200 SMA all the way through. You had a really good trend, uh, and you still have a really good trend here. The key is going to be holding that, that 49, 435, and then always just watch your key levels here, your 45, uh, 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 8, uh, 15, that's your 8 SMA here, your 50 SMA at 43, 533, and then your 21 day, uh, 43, 335. That is going to be your key support level. As long as that holds, you're in good shape. If not, then you can you, you know you can see where the retest where you can follow your candles, but your big retest is where she's gonna probably go. Here, like on your weekly chart, you know, you can just see I can just big that up a little bit here. See, it gives you a really good clear uh, a look of exactly what you have. Now, again, that's a weekly, so you want to make sure that you can close above that for the week. Then we just follow the price channels and go right on up. So there he is. There's your daily, there's your weekly. You can set this up in your charts, and it gives you a good vision of exactly what Bitcoin is doing. All right, that's what I got for you today on Yo Bitcoin. Thanks for watching.